What's up, Fox Gang? Welcome back to another FG Rose video. Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney. I am so psyched by how much this case is kicking off, as I said in the previous video. And of course, I'm doing as I always do. I'm recording in bulk. So, honestly, I don't have much else to say. I'm I'm really, really pumped for this. I'm glad I'm kind of glad I'm doing this on my own time. I don't feel stressed. No one's pressuring me. I just really want to get started and I can go forward as I want to. So Let's go ahead and let's dive right back into the content. February 23rd, 2.15 p.m., Wright & Company Law Offices. Uh, um, Mr. Wright, so... What's going on with the case anyway? I I'm a little confused. Huh? W well, um, let's see. What is going on? The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Well, that's what we're going to find out, or try to at least. Alright, let's do it! Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go! Science awaits us! February 23rd, Prosecutor's Office, Underground Parking Lot. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there, who cares? Yeah, it was only our victim who was killed in their evidence room, no biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing, I know it. That oil drum, was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. My sister erasing evidence at the crime scene? Never! Even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all. It's just... We're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? This situation calls for one thing, and that is... Luminal testing fluid. L luminal? Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just watch it, wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. M me Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. We're testing bloodstains with this stuff, not drinking it. Here, look, I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You have an extra pair of those things? Oh, neat. To test for a blood reaction, just spray the luminal on it. Like this, see? Press enter to spray it on. Okay, let's find us some bloodstains. Well, we found bloodstains. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So is this a blood stain? Uh, it's so... Uh, Emma, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Uh, okay, well, we definitely know this is a blood stain. But doesn't something strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. What's odd about this, scientifically? Hmm. The perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean, look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd have to have been more blood than this. Uh, hey, Mr. Wright? I'm gonna mark up the floor plan when we, when we found a blood stain. Okay. See, I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Uh, yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy too. I saved up my allowance to buy that. Luminol testing fluid received from one very proud-looking Emma Sky. We can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Then let's drag that hidden evidence out into the light. Yeah! Feels like we're really investiga investigating a crime now then. Guess I should give this a spray on anything suspicious. 
Ah, oh, I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Miss Star? You only trust your own eyes, hmm? Not bad, you two. This day-old deli box is on the house. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead-in doesn't really get my mouth watering. You certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but no, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. I witnessed everything from that security room right there, but I was afraid that it that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry? You lied on the witness stand! That's unforgivable! Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed the events was different from... Was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. Ah! I swear it on my honor as a detective, she stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? So, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? Yes, it was a long time ago. Two years! Just like everything else in this stupid case! It's all from two years ago! What happened two years ago? It was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hardened the criminal when they faced me... They coughed it up. Coughed it up? They confessed. They babbled like babies. You know, I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. And before long they called me the Cough Up Queen. Oh, and here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. And you were let go or er, fired? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean... Hmm. I'm gonna go talk to Edgy. February 23rd, High Prosecutor's Office, room, room 1202. Well, this place is as classy today as it was yesterday, and I'm sure it'll still be just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Incidentally, Edgeworth's not here. I'm sure he's off doing important investigations. I hope that's what he's doing. Guess we'll have to come back. Okay, so we're gonna have to go back to the underground parking lot. Now, I think we should probably move to the police department entrance. No, wait, the detention center! February 23rd, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Looks like Miss Guy is in questioning. Okay. How's she supposed to answer that? Wait a second. Didn't Mr. Gantz say they'd arrested a suspect in the police department murder? Let's come back later. Okay, so yeah, I should have gone to, uh... Maybe here? February 23rd, Police Station Criminal Affairs Department. Wow, everyone looks deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder of a detective down at the police department. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. Ugh, it makes my head hurt. Well, first things first, let's go check out the police department crime scene. Yes, you sound dead set on investigating, but don't mess up or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more myster mysteries or dead bodies around here right now, but it doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. How did we go into the... whatever. No, how did we go into the criminal affairs department and then go to the police department? Whatever. Police department entrance. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense. The detective did get killed here after all. So the evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk. Here it is. She's like a kid at an amusement park. Oh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Didn't we already, uh... Like, maybe I'm wrong? February 23rd, evidence room entrance, guard station. What's with the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. 
So beyond that door is the evidence room, the scene of the crime? It sure seems that way. Oh, oh! What's wrong? It's those cacti! They're so prickly, so imposing! It's hard to think straight. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out- Cacti, stay out of the desert? What I want to know is, if the, this is a guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. Yeah, I have a pretty good idea who he is, too. The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. You thought it'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says recording. I bet we could use this computer to check on who went in and out of there. No clues here. Yipes, these sure are prickly. They're, these, they must be the real deal. I would think just one big one would be sufficient. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. Uh, how so? Encased in a cold, rigid shell with spines pointing in every direction? Just like her. I'm not so sure I see the resemblance. It's more an attitude thing than a physical similarity. There's a security guard uniform hanging here. Looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. Leather jacket, leather pants, a leather... What was that called again? A punchy, a punchy, a pinchy? I know, a poochie! Mm, wait, maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, but I think I'll keep that information to myself for the time being. Okay, uh, here's the real question. Is there some way that we can, uh... Look on the floor, a lasso! Hmm, looks like it's set up to trap something. A trap? Here? Wait, I know! Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here. But the lasso missed! You sure have an active imagination. Okay, well, this is, um... Not very helpful, like, at all. Am I supposed to, like... This swinging door makes the place look like some kind of saloon, but look, it's nailed shut. You can't get in that way. Of course not. If you went in through here, the cactus would fall over. Ouch! I'd say it'd be more of a yarg myself. Like, am I supposed to examine anything else here? I just want to make sure. Alright, uh, I think I've examined everything in this... In this room, so... Backspace? Police department entrance? Maybe go back to the underground parking lot? Maybe go talk to Edgeworth? No? Okay, so maybe not go talk to Edgeworth? Apparently not. Alright, so where the hell am I supposed to go? Should I go to the criminal affairs office? Because I am like, I have no idea. Nope. Yeah, I, I'm lost. I, I don't know where to go. Look, the patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. You idiot, what were you thinking? Where's your head? S sir, it's right here, sir. I guess he wasn't saluting. He was showing the detective where his head was. They make a good pair. The blue badger is still writhing today. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing, the whole police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. Can I take out his batteries? I just can't help but feel he's going to do something naughty. The detectives in there look pretty busy. Just imagine, right now, behind those doors, a police- Okay. Yeah, I am- I'm not sure what to do, because I'm just like- Guard station? 
was I supposed to eventually do something that would trigger someone showing up? Because I, for the life of me, cannot figure it out. Alright, so cacti... And obviously nothing to do with the drinks. Looks like there's a video feed. Da 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 da. Yeah, I, I got nothing. I'm like, I'm kind of lost. Because it seems like I've talked to everybody. Um, maybe I need to go back to the underground parking lot. Maybe examine a bit more. Okay. So this is the famous oil drum. Well, no time like the present. I'll try to kick it over myself. Yeah! Th that's okay. Don't cry. That Lana Sky must be one strong woman. Hmm. All right, I just, I don't, what am I supposed to be doing exactly? Like, I feel like I should be talking more to her. Um, what do you think about this? The SL9 incident, it's written on that knife. And on that note, Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. Really? That knife was evidence in that case, the murder weapon. It was due for transfer the very day that Goodman was killed. As I suspected, SL9 isn't over. Not yet. Okay, I kind of figured that. All right. Like with everything else, it was like I had to talk to her about something. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Still nothing. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm I'm kind of confused cuz I'm like I don't know what else I could really do in this situation. I had one of those up till um, back when you were the cough of queen, right? We found this ID card here in this parking lot. Well, there's no mistaking that. It's definitely Goodman's, but it's the same ID as the man who was killed at the police department. That's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. Like, what What else do you want me to say? I'm like, I'm confused as hell. I, like, I don't know what else to... Like, something has to trigger to say something, because we need to talk to her, obviously. Okay, um... And for the life of me, I'm just sitting here and I'm like... Talk. And I'm just not getting anything. Like, I, I'm just literally not getting anything. So... Find the blue badger. 
what exactly, uh... Oh, sorry. She dropped that phone on the pavement. That's, that's when you were talking about the muffler, right? Little did I know, it was a trap. The red car's muffler and the prosecutor's red muffler. What was Miss Guy really trying to say, I wonder? Okay, examine. That's about as red as a sports... Yep, it's pretty red, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost, because I'm just like... Well, what exactly am I supposed to say here? All right, present. If you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even I get flustered sometimes, so you went straight to the scene of the crime. I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes are the whole problem. The hole in my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Star. You lying was the problem. Listen, little girl. I had my, te my testimony disregarded before. And I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time? Thank you! It's like, oh my god. The incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable to who? Man, it took a while to get through that. Two years ago, it was the biggest case I'd ever handled. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So, so, they didn't solve it? On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. E executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't make get any clearer than that. The only problem was, they never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. What? But the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort, made up evidence. Wh what? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself and one other person you know well. Wait, could it be? Exactly, Detective Jake Marshall. Oops, I mean Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Jake was particularly determined, and then it was over, and he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9? There was another side to that case, a hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait, th those lunches you sell. There's only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet old friends, boyfriends that can help me investigate. Miss Star's old boyfriends, how many does she have anyway? Just when all the detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. So, Rookie, wh what It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes. Then you should take this. Uh, Salisbury Steak Lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Um, Miss Star, Officer Marshall, is he your, uh, are you his... Are you g g going out? Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases... He was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous, and he was nice to me too back then. This would be when Officer Marshall was a detective, but now, now he's so cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. Uh, I see. Thank you, Officer Jake Marshall. Hmm? Okay, so yeah. 
all this so that we can do this. Okay. February 23rd, police department entrance. This place is charged with frantic energy as always. Police! Huh? Wasn't that... One steak lunch, please! Oh, it's you! Detective Gumshoe? Now's no time for chit-chat, pal! I'm a busy man! What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland! Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. <laughs> Now's no time for despair! We've caught our criminal! Now we just need evidence! The criminal, you mean... You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? I might have heard something about it. Yeah, just, just, just a little bit about it. You know, not much. Just the fact that the same guy that was killed in the parking lot was also killed in the... Yeah, I'm lost. And the perpetrator. Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything's tumpty turvy But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, all I know is I need me a steak lunch. Pronto! Standing around here talking isn't going to fill my belly. Well, wait, don't leave. If you want to know more, head on down to the detention center, pal. Rushing should be over, so I figure he's down there having a good cry. Later. He ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a running start. Well, I'd say we should probably start at the guard station. Or not, I guess we should go to the detention center. Why not? I guess we should go return to our office. Why not? Man, they have the most roundabout ways of getting places. February 23rd, detention center, visitor's room. Still, I do feel better about things a little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. Best to not go too far down that road right now. Things will just get confusing. Uh, what was that? Sir, that's what I'm saying. Me, a perpetrator? I I'd say I was the per perpetrated against, sir. That's what I'd say. Oh, it's Meekins. Uh, oh, uh, hi. Greetings, sir. Wait, I know who you are. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, you're a guard here at the detention center? No, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman, like a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report. No, sir, I, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't, is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't, did you? Er, perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir! What? What? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. The day of the crime, Be Meekins. Sir, I'm a patrolman with general affairs, sir, sir! Ow, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, and so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. So, normally there's a guard at the evidence room? That's right, sir! Because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir! Now, the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall! M marshall Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir! A suspicious person in the evidence room! A suspicious person, sir! A suspicious person! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, what the god? What the heck is this guy doing? Yo, I need something to drink. My mouth is so dry. So what happened then? After that, sir, I... I... Everything went white. I saw red. I blacked out. When I came to, I was here in the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Um, might I ask what happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it, sir. A bandage on his hand? Just like Miss Skye. Yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. First things first, tell us how you hurt your hand. Um, I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir! 
If you have to label me as a perpetrator or victim, sir, then label me victim! Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well at that. Ah, uh, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I'd say he leans heavily on the total stranger side. So you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light or other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives! So if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I have no intentions of killing him, sir, none! Nor do I have any recollections of killing him, sir! At least someone around here is more confused than I am. Okay, bandaged hand. About your hand. Did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, I err. Don't you think you should just confess? But sir, 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 but there was nothing I could do! Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth, sir, when it happened, when the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir! And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious! The next thing you knew you were, huh? Then when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir, all alone! Alone because, because Detective Goodman had disappeared! What? Then when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hands, sir. Oh, the shock, oh, the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared? Hmm, that's some story. Okay, so... I don't know what else to say to this, so... Officer Meekins, could you take a look at this? Um, okay then, how about this? On second thought, you don't have to look at the knife. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on back to the, uh... Underground parking lot? I don't know what- I, I don't really know how to... I really don't know how I'm supposed to react to that. All right. Police department. Move to the guard station. Hopefully there's someone there to talk to. Still nothing. Okay, so... Police department entrance. Maybe go to criminal affairs? No. Okay. So apparently that doesn't work. Um maybe go all the way to the top. I'm confused here. Like I feel like I'm getting run all over the course. I just don't know. Maybe talk to him again. He hasn't disappeared, so there's still something we could talk to him. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure where to go with this anymore, uh, because I just, like, I'm completely baffled. Um, do you think you could take a look at this? Huh? That's it, sir! That's it! That's it! That's what? My head was blank until this very moment! But, sir, now I remember! I remember, sir! You mean, you remember what happened? Correct! That card! That card was the cause of it all! This ID card? Exactly, sir! That's exactly it! Nothing could be more exact, sir! Nothing! I'd better pry into this a little deeper. What? Like, why is this card, uh... Can you tell me what it is you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a lost little patrolman. A lost little lamb, if you will. I didn't know Detective Goodman what, who was in the evidence room. And that's, why you, and that's why you thought he looked suspicious. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. But that's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing. 
Suddenly he pointed a knife at me! What? Sir, I assure you, I was as flustered as you are right now! So I whooped and leapt at him! Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him? Do unto others before they do unto you! My own father's words, sir! W what happened then? Well... My eyes, sir, everything went white. When I awoke, I was here. Right. Reason for arrest. So, Officer Meekins, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman, and the victim, whom he met at the scene of the crime, didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir! That's, that's what I wanted to say! That is, I did say something along those lines. Huh? But you still ended up here? They told me that it had to be him, sir! On that day, at that time! Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room, that's what they said! But you don't remember the events clearly. No, but the videotape is quite clear. Uh, videotape? From the security camera! The crime! My crime! The crime I swore to stamp out! It's there! It's me on the tape! And you waited until now to tell us this? I'm sorry, really sorry, sir. I I'll hand over my badge, I don't deserve it. N no thanks, I am my own. Well, guess we better go find. I am baffled. What is this? Okay, guys, I I I'm, I'm so confused. What is this case? Everything is so freaking topsy-turvy. And seriously, this thing is the most rap. I hate the UI of this game. I I'm gonna say this. It's like, just make a shortcut to every location. Don't have me go to every freaking place to get to somewhere else. It's frustrating. Okay, well, that didn't help one bit. Which means that I need to go figure something out. Oh my gosh. Alright, so talk to... Uh, no, move. To the detention center. Okay, so... Yeah, no, I I'm kind of lost. I'm just like... Maybe go to the Criminal Affairs Department? February 23rd, Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. H hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing at the Chief of Detective's desk. It's Police Chant Gant. Police Chief Gant. And you're sure this is all, hmm? You know what it means if there is anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We checked all of his drawers. Lockers, garbage cans, bags, under his seat cushion, behind his computer monitor, inside his personal coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away. Deal? Y y yes sir, we'll scour the place again, sir. The chief of detectives looks a little flustered. Ah, ah right on my boy, how you been? Swim much? <laughs> oh, Chief Gant, reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? Yo, what's with the, what, what is with the heavy piano playing? What the heck? Um, is that where it's going to be okay? Oh, worthy. Oh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Yeah, well, they've had no end of trouble with the boy since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sent sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you! You got someone else found guilty in that case, right, right oh? Von Karma. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40-year career. But in court, you fixed it, so he was caught for forging evidence. W wait I didn't do anything wrong, he did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of a turmoil, you might say. Why'd they do just about anything to restore their reputation? Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for Worthy. But what? It's not right odd, I tell you. The detective getting killed on their turf on, on their turf too, I mean. There being the prosecutors, I assume. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. 
What evidence is this? Now, now, Rido, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive and I can't talk about it. Wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets can't stand them. But you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the chief of detectives trapped shut. Ah, he was the one you were picking on earlier. Ah, uh, you saw that. Whoops! I wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of detectives to do. Let's see if we can find kind of discreetly ask him. Oh, sorry you had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Well, see over there? That's Detective Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing belonged to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on this is February 21st. Better make a note of that just in case. I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. All of this to... F okay, so are we finally going to go to the police department? Are we finally going to go talk to Marshall? Like, seriously. Are we done getting moseyed around? N We're still getting moseyed around. Okay then, so move to the police department entrance. Move back to talking to... What's his name? Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Mm, well, I never thought the day would come when Rido asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the, in the evidence room. Now, Rido. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate after... Righto, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give them $50 no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. Just goes to show, you never know until you ask. And for you, here, you can borrow this. Uh, hey, this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Y yes, sir, it's an honor. You just run along now and do your best now. Later, folks. This whole thing is fishy. Like, I'm just... Hehe, <laughs> looks pretty cool on my lapel, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir, because, sir, we get to now go into the evidence room now. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. Okay, well, I guess uh, now we go. Oh, my God. Like, seriously, if there is one thing I dislike about the this game, it's just that you run around and it just gets so... How do I put this? Frustrating. The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. It won't open? Aha! The card reader is turned off, see? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's made my bambina sky so gray? Oh my god, this dude... <laughs> Uh, Officer Marshall, why does it have to be him? What's that? Why does it have to be him look for? As you may have surmised, this here is my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw, that card you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw? Well, what are you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's awaiting. Looks like the card reader's on again. While we're here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you, hombres. Hombres. You're busy then? Did I say that? Well, I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us, hombres. Well, you know what? I got something that'll loosen your tongue. A nice, healthy steak lunch. That smell. Ah, reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Uh, yeah, Miss Star. W what's this? 
What? What's wrong? A fillet steak lunch. See, I see. I don't see. I wonder what it means. Steak lunch given to Officer Marshall. All right, Bambina, you win. Ask him anything. Finally, seems like he's willing to talk. Okay, well, at least we finally got can get some questions answered. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Ah, that poor little doggy. Poor guy, I keep getting his name wrong and call him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this, but since I got demoted from detective two years ago, well, it may not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. So, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. Note, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang-up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take to machines much. Kind of like that stewed broccoli they sneak in next to your steak, you know? Miss Starr told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now. Like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. You're still investigating the SO9 incident with Miss Starr, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? The day of our case? That's right. The evidence transferals. Edgeworth was talking about that transferals. About the transferals, too. I know what maybe two of the machines in here do. Uh, only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well, I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. The easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard and you reckon? One more thing, when you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. Thus the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. So this is the ID card record. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambin, I can't show you more than that, huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. Maybe there's some way I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing? See this? This is the victim's ID card. Ah, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number, the number on this is, is 584-2189. Officer Marshall, show us that ID card record again. Look, the fourth number. It's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekin say? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing! Suddenly he pointed a knife at me! If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Whew, okay, well at least we got that. 
I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Alright, so first we should also talk about transfer. Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transfer thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. They're kept here under the pr presiding detective's supervision for two years. So we can revisit them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the county sheriff's department. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see now. Transfer is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. And that happened to SL9 two days ago. Interesting. February 23rd, Evidence Room, Sector 3. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. So this is the evidence room? It really looks, really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. N nice try, Mr. Wright. Y you can't scare me. I wasn't trying to. Eek! Whoa! Did she just slap him? S sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So is it true what I heard? Right, oh please, do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, I can... Okay. Yeah, it's true. So chief of police can't. We'll loan anyone 50 bucks? Even me? Oh, so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission from the chief. So now you're boss for a day! Gee, thanks. First of all, you'll want to have this! Scene of the stabbing of a detective at the PD. Okay, well, let me take a look at that, please! Okay! This is not the image of a stabbing. All right, well, let's examine first, then we'll come back and talk to him. All right, so Q and slide. Wow, someone must have broken something big to make all of these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from the case. The case? The SO9 incident, pal. See the sticker on one of the pieces here? Another piece of SO9 evidence. Wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Ah, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Alright, let me... Let me think here. Okay, that's obviously not it. Wait, hold on. Maybe this is it. Or not. Nope. Okay. Oh, sweet. I got it. All right. Next part. 
Yay, Fox is actually doing intelligent things. Okay, maybe not. Um, actually, I would almost say that this maybe? No. No. Oh, hey, that actually fit. Ha <laughs> ha! Fox is figuring things out. Okay, so... What is this, exactly? If somebody doesn't mind filling me in on all the secrecy... What exact- again, I- I'm very lost on what exactly this is. What is this? A, a, like a vase of some kind, I guess? Is my honest best guess? I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. Unstable jar added to the court record. Look, this one's open. The red indicator light above the door is lit. That locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. What's this? Blood? It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright, what if there are other blood stains left in the room? We should use our testing fluid to check it out. Into the court record! Aha! We found blood! I don't see a point in there being multiple choices. This must have been one of massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. Not a professional. What's your opinion, Detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective... Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien? This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you don't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. I'm just spraying everything. I knew it! This is someone's right hand print! What? What's the matter, Detective? Th this locker! It's mine! It's yours? Please! You have to help me when they come to take me away! Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't <laughs> fly! Yo, uh... Alright, I I testify to the entire court. He did it. <laughs> Gumshoe would totally do it if he thought it would help Edgeworth. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. What? But you're a detective. <laughs> oh, man, this is hilarious. I am just like spritz 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 sp
Okay, I think I've pretty much found everything. Alright, examine more items. Alright, what else hasn't been examined? This place is stuffed with evidence, stuffed with dreams. I'm not so sure about the dreams. Mm. It won't open. Did you really think it would? Hey, pal, our security is high tech around here. What is a sun paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against oppression. True art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger. Well, well, you might say this is my studio here in the evidence room. Seriously, dude. You put these pieces together, it makes a jar. There are two things that bother me. One, why are some of the pieces missing? Two, doesn't it seem a little unstable? No wonder it broke. I'll make sure to remember that next time I make a jar. Someone left a glove here, but only one? Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal, making me be out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know. You mean SL9. It does have a tag on it. Rubber glove added to the court record. Boss for a day. So, Detective Gumshoe, your boss for the day? That's right, it's an honor! After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? They're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation, again. I'm adamant, though! I'm going to take control and put this case to rest! In my own evidence locker, pal! You have a locker in here too, Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> of course! I'm a detective, after all! They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? I'll always believe in it, Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case, the SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using their ID card. Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, well, I'm on my third card since entering the force. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh! You mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal! The lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. So the only locker we can open is our own. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and if the wrong person touches it... Zap, you get a shock! If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Only the assigned detective's prints can unlock it. Indicator lamp lights up when it opens. Okay. Sorry, I'm like, I'm not doing much theory crafting, but it's mostly just because there's not much to talk about. But this really... But this is weird. It both seems to give the indication that Goodman was stabbed here, but it might also not have been Goodman? Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! Wh what is it? The, 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 that second number! It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth! What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? What? ID card record updated. In, uh-oh. Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Well, I think we're about to go find out. 
All right. All right, Edgeworth. It's time for you to start coughing up the goods. Honestly, I'm just going to grill Edgeworth. Like... He's not even here, which means there's still more to talk about in the, in the other areas. To the detention center. I'm going to go and ask him about the... I don't know why. I just feel like, hey, let's just talk to everybody. Why not? Officer Meekins, could you take a look at this? How would you not know? Okay. For forget it. Okay. I still hate the fact that it's like there is no like direct area to at least like the outside portions. It's really stupid in my opinion. All right, so guard station. Miles Edgeworth, Bruce Goodman. Hmm. Evidence room. I should also see if maybe he knows something about... Detective Goodman's note and that switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone because of the SL9 connection. That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew, Miss knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. I just want to ask him about this, too. That's fine. All right. Jeez. All right. Thank you. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors about forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer the other day. That was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So, so, that switchblade knife... The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. Well, now I don't know where to go on with this at all. I really feel like maybe we should try talking to... Let's see if there's anyone else we can talk to, I guess. Criminal Affairs Department. New? Detention Center. No, no, we don't want to talk to this guy again. All right, underground parking lot. Still try to see if we can find Edgeworth. Edgeworth, you are so difficult to find, you know that? Okay, so that means there has to be something we can talk about with at least one or more people. I just got to figure out what it is. Alright, ID's Zavalu into the evidence room. The sheriff back didn't place faith. But the only thing they trust. Um, this is neither wild nor west here. Aha, uh -huh, but that and this are two different. Wait, what? I'm confused. I am very confused right now, like, heavily. Okay, so...
I'm genuinely lost. I'm gonna say this now. Uh, I'm like, okay. The tag says SL911. I guess this is another piece of evidence from that case. You know, I never did care for the word tag. It's confusing, huh? What's so confusing about that? Do you know how many other words it sounds like it? Bag, gag, nag, lag, zag? Zag, is that a word? Do you challenge me? What are we playing a word game now? Okay, let's try examining a few more things. I just don't know what else we could possibly examine in this room because I think we pretty much got everything. Some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. What a sorry looking fishing pole that is. Ah, that's my personal pole. I never did get around to using it. Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. Right, pal, that's that metal detector. The one that led to solving of that case out on Gord Lake, remember? Oh, right. Wow, that feels like it was ages ago. And mm, I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that. That's a bug sweeper. I'm sure it will come in handy in solving some case sooner or later. That cheap looking box? You can't judge a person or a machine by their cover. You gotta look at their heart. There's something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence of s for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. Bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat, either. If you're going to talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, pal! Harsh. Wow, look at this big pile of junk in the corner! That looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the, to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was some sort of escape artist and he got away? Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us. Well, for the most part, I think I've uh, looked at everything at this point. And I think for the most part, I've also presented all of the evidence. Hmm. I guess I can try experimenting a bit more and seeing what else he knows. You can't open the lockers if your fingerprints doesn't match. If you can open it, they'll give you 50 cents! Note, the police department lacks faith in its lock system. After all, Detective Goodman was stabbed here after opening his locker. But at the same time, he was found dead over at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's weird. Uh, maybe... That's the victim Detective Goodman's ID card. These days everything's cards and secret numbers. I can never relax. That's only because you always lose your card. I always forget my secret number too. Scary, huh? My face should be ID enough. What's the world coming to? Detective Gumshoe, rebel against the system. <laughs> I don't think I really have anything else I can talk to him unless it's like... Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got the other day! Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal! I got an award for diligence myself! Uh, congratulations. Oh, there's a reason! Erm, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently, he's forgotten. So, at this point, I don't really... I don't really know what else to talk to him about. It's like, I think we found everything? Like, this gets confusing because we have such a massive list of evidence. And... Bruce Goodman, ID, 5... Item loss, status report... 
Interesting. 221. Found at the crime scene. Alright, I'm, I'm just trying to see if maybe I can come up with something. Let me take a look at this evidence. Hey, look! They're hard to make out, but there are some dark red stains here. Hmm, looks like blood. Do you think the detective, Go detective Goodman's blood somehow got on this when he was stabbed? Not likely. This blood looks like it's been here for months, maybe longer. The jar was evidence in the SL9 incident. That might be when the blood got on it. Hmm. Honestly speaking, I don't think there's much else that I can ask him about. I just kind of assume IDs of all who entered the evidence room on 5... On 514. I'm just going to try and see if maybe he'll give me something about the... Okay. So that's not going to work, apparently. Can I get some more information about the SL9 incident, please? Like, that's what I'm looking for at this point. But I don't... Okay. By this point, I would imagine I have investigated all points of this. Like, I don't think there's any more that I can really find. Maybe talking to him about this? Okay, no? I, I, I'm lost as hell right now. I'm like, how long has this video been going? One hour and 17 minutes. Uh, didn't we just go through this? Like, we just went through this, so I'm very lost on what any of it can mean. You know what? We're gonna go back to the detention center, maybe? Just kinda... Okay, so never mind then. Okay, so it's basically just going to take me through all of this again. And now I'm lost as hell because I don't know what else to do. What am I supposed to do here? Like, I'm I'm very lost because there's not much there's not much else I can do. Um Except maybe go back to this. I guess if I present him this list? Nope. Okay, so... That's not gonna work. Maybe there's not anything else I can present to him. I... I... I...
Okay. Oh my god. We did some more fumbling. All right, it took- I am sad. Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled through the door. It might just be something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? It's called luminol testing fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that, huh? I'd like to get some too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? I always buy it from by mail order. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. Hey, pal, look at the time! Oh my god. Hold on, the last time I looked at my video time, it was... That took me 20 minutes! No, no. It was 1 hour and 17 minutes. This took me 30 minutes to figure out that I needed to spritz right there. Oh my gosh. It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. Like, you guys are gonna be so freaking lucky that I'm editing all that out. You're just gonna miss out on like 30 minutes of me just bumbling around, going back and forth. I'm going to give them my report for the day. Might help, you know. R report You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you've got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later! Nice guy. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Finally! I've been trying to trigger how Edgeworth is going to talk for I don't know how long. No! Heck, we don't want to go in there anymore. I don't, don't want to see that room ever again. I never want to go back there. You guys are so lucky I'm editing out, like, all of that. So freaking lucky. February 23rd, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. Ah, guests, my apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave so long. Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. I don't see a teacup. Right. He has the hotel bring him tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, yes, he brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Um, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. So, how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning you were lucky this time again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you are, are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However, something happened. They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police, Gant. I could do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you? Why? All night long, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. Hold on. All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. Still, wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. I mean, I'd be out of sorts too if I'm constantly being accused of falsifying evidence. 
um, you know, everything else as well. I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It has to do with that case you were on. The SL9 incident. <laughs> so it's not in the shot. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in? You were the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. He must be talking about his father's murder in that elevator. Okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Damon Gant. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago too then. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why was a deputy chief of police on the investigation? In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't... Of course not! I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. Right, please, I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. I'll pass on the tea, just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Mr. Edgeworth just told you no in a very polite manner. Whose side are you on anyway? Maybe if I just show him my best evidence, I can get a reaction out of him. Oh, right, I'd better check this now. As I was saying, I... What's this? A record of ID card usage. Ev Edgeworth, you went to the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Well, why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. By Chief Gant, no less. The Chief of Police? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I'd better make a note of it. Stubborn as always, I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. M my sister? What? If you were still studying forensic science. Huh? I yes, of course. Why, just today, Mr. Ryan and I were using this. Luminal testing fluid, hmm? Well then, you might have use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints? It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. F for me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I... Uh, th thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Uh, well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. Alright, so first things first, we need to move back to the underground parking lot. This game is tossing me everywhere. Like, if I have to find anything about this game to hate, it's that I, like, literally am getting tossed all over the freaking place. And this case is the worst at it. Seriously. Alright. Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here in this blood on the detective's evidence locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger. 
Okay, now it's time to check for fingerprints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. Oh no, not the sparkle! Not the sparkle! First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? With enter. See? Ah, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess? Huh? How do I do that? With E. Exciting, I know. Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow, that looks like fun. Might take some getting used to this, though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Miss Wright. I guess I'd better give it a try. And... Oh. I'm pressing E. Wait, was that supposed to fill up this whole area or something? Aha! You did it! You found one! But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now that you mention, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here! Hey, calm down! That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Look at the locker door again closely. Seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear fingerprint. Okay, wow, it's really taking its time to let us do this. Yay, a print! So clear, it's dazzling. D dazzling I mean, this could just be Gumshoe's fingerprint. Like, this is his lot. This is Gumshoe's locker, so couldn't this just be Gum... I mean, I think, honestly speaking, the answer is pretty clearly Gumshoe. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Match found! Aha! So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe! Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking so what. Okay, so we come came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other hamper in this room. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, court record. All right, back court tab.
Okay, uh, apparently that's not gonna work. Examine! Court record! Okay, um... This is where we got a luminal Floyd. Right! There was a handprint here! Okay, wanna try using this? Yes, I do. Check it for prints. It's like, why didn't we just check this one first? Oh, sorry. I, it's just like, at this point, they're just talking about, I was like, hey, are you sure that you can find, uh... Okay, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna slide. Detective Goodman's evidence locker. It's empty. Only the Detective Good... So the person who... Okay, so apparently that's not gonna work. Right. There was a handprint here. Okay. Wanna try using this? Yeah. There goes her eye. Check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? So don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Okay, um, I'm completely lost on what this could mean. Okay, um, it's like Nothing I'm doing is seems to be working. Okay, try using this. There, her, all right. Check for prints. The area with the blood was wiped away, right? You only end up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right, so that means no prints. Would you say... We must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. It's like at this like it's like what do you want me to do? Do I just keep going until I find a reaction or something? I mean, hell, the whole thing is freaking red. I can't see shit. Like, I am legitimately trying to figure out. The other thing that's kind of bugging me is just like... Wait, hold on.
I think I found something. Mwahaha! Okay. Well, that's obviously not it. Oh, interesting. I mean, I think this ultimately makes the most sense because I think for a while, like, this character has been way too intrinsic. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Whose? Is this someone I know? It's Officer Marshall, huh? Uh, Officer Jake Marshall? Marshall's fingerprints added to the court record. Th that's got to be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma, this is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminol reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh, oh. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a white blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall... Looks like our investigation is finally turning up results. Guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I, I don't believe it. Oh my god, that took for ever that that took literally forever how long did that take me two hours to get through that section it took me two freaking hours to make it through that that's insane what exactly kind of storyline were they trying to build i have never taken this long to finish a single part portion but i had heard that this was that this was like an infinitely longer case but even more than that i think what's kind of crazy is just the fact that i got stumped for like half an hour so honestly speaking uh this still probably would have taken this oops uh, ignore what's happening here because we're about to close out but thank you everyone for making who makes it to the end of this video i think this is going to be like the longest video i have i am going to edit it down i'm going to cut out the 30 minutes of pure bumbling that i did um so thank you everyone i appreciate the support hopefully you guys had fun just watching me just like try to figure out where the heck to go and oh my gosh all right so if you like the video please let me know what you enjoyed about it don't forget to hit the subscribe button notification bell like button and don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below and i will catch you guys in another video till next time everyone this is fox gaming of fg rolls signing off see ya everybody